A statue in Russia was discovered and it literally looks like a fallen angel. This is absolutely insane. I'm about to sit back and grab some popcorn because it's going down. Well, okay, I don't really eat popcorn because it's kind of unhealthy. Not the popcorn itself, but like if you put butter on it, then it gets unhealthy. And who's eating popcorn without butter? Anyways, forget it. You don't need to learn about my diet. Let's just get right into the intro. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Russian miners seem to have uncovered a statue that looks like a fallen angel when they were digging deep underground. The statue was found on the outskirts of Yakutia, Russia, and once discovered, it left many of the locals in utter shock. The miners also reported that they felt a dark energy omitting the statue. And upon further investigation, it seems like this actually could have been a fallen angel. Angelic beings are described as being up to 12 feet, and as the miners stood next to it, they were nowhere near the size of the statue. Not to mention the fallen angel statue was in a kneeling position, but it was still bigger than the miners next to it. The weirdest part about it all is that this statue was not made out of stone. The cloak surrounding the fallen angel statue was made out of real cloth and was not sculpted in. The detail detail on this statue is absolutely impeccable, causing many people to believe that this was not a sculpted piece of art, but what could have been a fallen angel at some point in time. Many people also pointed out that the shield on this statue is too thin to be carved out of stone, as well as the hands and wings having such detail that is way too complex for artistry. Now here's what I find interesting. In Revelation 9.14, it describes how there's certain fallen angels chained under the Euphrates River by God. So satanic creatures being held back or even frozen is not too far off from what we see in the Bible. In Revelation 9.14, it says, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. Now here's where it gets a little suspicious. When authorities were notified of this, they quickly took the statue and it was never found to be seen again, which raised the alarm causing many people to wonder why this was hidden from the public. Although mainstream media claimed that this was one big hoax, Russian locals are denying that this is fake and claiming that the news is not being truthful. Check out the statue for yourself and you're going to be blown away by how detailed this is. Блин, вот это да, короче, разрыли экскаватором в такую, ну я скажу, эмоции просто не рассказать, душа куда-то аж упрыгивает. Look at that thing's face, dude. Не знаю, конечно, не писать, это просто не рассказать, почему так, что это такое, ну там сейчас на вертолете прилетят. Все эти дела. И вот пока не приехали все эти товарищи, мы вот тут с ребятами oh, heck no. вырвались. No ребята, это ребята, это вообще трендец. Как, какие эмоции? Андрей, эмоции Денис, сними давай. меня. Бро, that thing is huge. Here's my question for the news saying that it's all a hoax, even though the locals are saying that it's not a hoax. Yakutia, Russia is one of the coldest places in the entire planet. So who is going to take the time out of their day to dig all the way underground in one of the coldest places on the entire planet and put some massive sculpture in the ground and then take the time out of their day to completely bury it and cover it? Keep in mind, these are miners. These are people who dig deep underground. So who is going to have the time to do all of that? There's so many inconsistencies with the mainstream media saying that this is debunked. Debunked how? Because one official in your article said that it's not true? How does one official supersede all of the locals in the area? You sneaky buggers are trying to hide something and we're on to you. The reality is the natural world cannot understand the supernatural things of the spirit. But we live in a world where supernatural beings are everywhere. And the Bible taught us about this long ago. As the days grow more evil, I believe that we're going to see an uptick in supernatural activity. And this is only going to further prove that the war that humanity is in is a spiritual one. Jesus Christ is real and now is the time to seek his face like never before. Repent and turn away from your sin and become a disciple of Christ. Because he's coming back sooner than you think and we really are living in the last days. Some people may be like, oh, y'all have been saying the last days for so long. But think about it. You really only have 80, 90 years on this planet. So you are technically living in your last days. And that's 80 to 90 years max. And who wants to get to 100? Let's be real. You probably can't even take a bath by yourself. Or maybe you can. 
no disrespect to the hundred year olds out there that may be watching this. I doubt there's any, but if you are, hey, what's up? I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> this life is not a joke. Your soul is very valuable. That's why you have angels and demons warring over it every single day. But Jesus Christ is calling you home, and I pray that videos like this would lead you towards the cross where Jesus died for all of your sins and washed your sin clean if you accept what he did for you on the cross. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you're not rocking with fallen angels, if you're not rocking with demons, I want you to comment Team Jesus down below. I'm only rocking with Yeshua and his angels and my heavenly father. That's my gang for real, bro. And if you have a problem with that, you're going to have to go through them. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. Ain't a game, Jesus who I claim. Yeah, he reigns, cross up on my chain. Brand new lane, heaven my domain. The world I gain, but it ain't do a thing. Ain't a game, Jesus who I claim. Yeah, he reigns, cross up on my chain. Brand new lane, heaven my